We are gathered here to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts in marriage. And I can't think of a better venue to do that than Glacier National Park. For Chris and Aaron, out of the routine of ordinary life, the extraordinary has happened. They met each other, fell in love, and are sealing it with their wedding today. Aaron and Chris, you have such a beautiful and fun relationship that's so uniquely yours. A heavy metal, motorcycle-loving cowboy from Darby, <laughs> with endless dad jokes and phrases I've never heard before, but always make me laugh. A private school queen from the groovy rattlesnake, with an allegiance to leopard print, and with more loyal best friends and family than one can dream of. I adore you each individually, yet together you radiate. You have taken the step beyond falling in love. You have chosen each other. You've chosen to become family. You've chosen to dream together. I'm most excited to see your story not yet told. So right now I wanna offer you to take this moment, just a moment, to allow yourself to be fully present. Take a breath and soak it all in. I want you to capture and hold on to how you're feeling right now. Because the words that I speak today may slowly fade over time, but what you're feeling right now, butterflies, breathless, so in love you could burst, <laughs> hold on to that feeling. Because that feeling's unforgettable. It's why you chose each other. And it's what you will reflect back on from today and cherish for the rest of your lives. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is standing together and facing the world. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. Aaron, I love you. You are my best friend. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you, to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad. When life seems easy and when it seems hard. When our love is simple and when it's an effort, and I promise to cherish you and always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today and all days of our life. Chris, I love you. You're my best friend. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you, and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. 
and I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give you today and all the days of our life. These sacred vows are not just between Chris and Aaron. Beginning today, you will not only be a new couple, you will be a new family. Brent, will you please join us now for the special family vows of this wedding? Brent, do you promise to love and respect your parents' new life together? I do. Do you promise to support their marriage and your new family? I do. Do you promise to accept the responsibility of being their child and to encourage them and support them in your new life together as a family? I do. Chris and Aaron, we have heard your promise to share your lives in marriage in the honesty and sincerity of what you have said and done here today, and now by the power vested in me by the state of Montana, it is my honor and delight to pronounce you husband and wife. Chris, you may kiss your bride. Presenting and introducing the happy couple, Chris and Aaron Brown. There is not a time that you don't ride. God, it's as good as it seems.